Hi guys. Um, I'm going to do a recipe for you today. Actually, it's not a human recipe. It's for these guys. Well, Zimba <laughs> and Karen. Um, I made some bacon cheddar oat dog biscuits. Um, super fast video. They really love them. Um, we're probably going to be doing some different kind of videos. Might actually get Mike to be in a video. <laughs> um, we are researching some stuff to um, purchase an RV, possibly. Um, so we have some stuff coming up on that. Um, some more savings and um, cost saving meals coming up. Hopefully we'll get some camping in soon. Um, I am walking a little bit better now from my surgery that I had in December. Um, the weather is getting a little bit nicer in Denver. Um, it's snowing tonight, but um, it's been in the 70s, which has been great. We've been able to ride our bikes and stuff, get out and walk Simba. Um, Karen's not really a walker. <laughs> she kind of tells us when she wants to walk. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you have dogs, please try the recipe. They will love it. Simba and Karen absolutely love these treats. Um, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks. So we're going to start with some quick oats. Um, you're going to need one and a half cups and you're going to put that in a food processor. Um, and then to that, we are going to add some sharp cheddar cheese. Um, and you are going to put about a cup in there. I did a very loose cup. You could pack a cup if you wanted to do that as well. And then I'm going to give it a quick blitz just to kind of incorporate all that and get the oats and cheese mixed together. And then once that's done, it should look like this. Um, and then I'm going to take three pieces of cooked bacon and I'm just gonna break them up in there. Um, the processor is gonna break them up enough I just put them in there so that they would fit. And then I went ahead and pulsed them just to break them up a little bit and incorporate them into the rest of the mixture. Um, and then I have the bacon grease from the bacon I cooked in the oven. Um, this ended up being about three or four tablespoons. You're just going to go ahead and add this in. Um, and I only showed two tablespoons going in, but I think I put about three or four tablespoons, whatever you have. Um, just eyeball it to whatever you like. And then I'm also going to add an egg just to bind the mixture. Um, and so it will puff up a little bit in the oven. Um, and once you have that in there, go ahead and put the lid on and um, blend it all together. Then I'm gonna take some filtered water. This isn't exact, just kind of see how the mixture comes together. I think I ended up putting about two tablespoons to three tablespoons in there. It really wasn't that much. Um, just keep an eye on the mixture to see what it looks like. Um, you kind of want it to look like how this came out. Then I just spooned it onto some parchment paper. Um, I was having a hard time filming. I didn't have anything set up, so that's what it looked like. I baked these for 20 minutes at 350. Um, and I must say, Zimba loved did these. He loves them. It made 24 cookies. I'm sure they'll be gone in just a few days, but it was really easy to make them. Um, he ate it up right away. Um, Karen, on the other hand, is really picky about new treats. Um, she likes to lick them several times to see if that is something that she wants to incorporate into her diet. Um, she's also a little camera shy, I think. She doesn't like to be filmed. Um, but you'll see her here, she's licking it. I get care she's beer? like, what is this? I don't know what this is. Um, and then she went on to eat it and she ultimately begged me for more of these about five it. minutes later. So. She's just playing hard to get with the treats. Um, that's how she likes to roll. Here she is, finally eating the cookie. Um, but Zimba absolutely loved these and uh, definitely make them for your dogs. Thanks so much for watching. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and we'll see you in the next video.